Hi everyone, this is Kamal. Welcome to my channel Understand Tech here. In this video, I am going to explain what is file input output and through a complete program show you how to actually send data to or get data from a file. Without any further ado, let's get started. Look at program 1. Here is a command printf. As you would know, it sends whatever is inside its double quote from a program to a screen or console. Here is a command fprintf. It sends data to a file rather than a console. This is an example of file output. Similarly, let's look at program 2. Here is a command fscanf. Using it, you may be used to getting data from a console. Now here is a command fscanf, fscanf. But if you use it, you can get data from a file instead. This is an example of file input. Now let's look at everything practically. Here I have a file called data1.txt. Let me open this file. As you can see, this file is empty. Here I have a simple program. Uh, let's not worry about some unfamiliar commands and their syntax. I will be shortly explaining them. Let me quickly run this program. Now let me open the file data1.txt. As you can see, the word checking it is stored in the file data1.txt. fprintf has sent whatever is inside its double quote from the program to the file data1.txt. Thus, this example illustrates that you can send data from a program to a file and this is an example of file output. Now, let's run this program. It has displayed two numbers in a console, but from where the program got this number? Let's open file data2.txt. As you can see, it has number 456 and 654 stored in it. Here command fscanf has scanned the file data2.txt and found numbers 456 and 654 and put them in variable n1 and n2. Now let's look at a complete program to further illustrate how things work in file input and output. Let's say we are to write a program to get name, ID number and mark of n number of students from a user, store this data in a file and finally get all data from the file but display only the data of those students who have failed. First let's see whether this program does things as it's supposed to do, then I will explain different parts of it. Let's execute the program. It's asking us to enter number of students that we want to keep data of. To make things quick and easy, let's say we want to keep data of only three students. So let's enter three. It's asking us to enter name and ID and mark. As you can see, we enter data of three students, but it showed data of only one fellow student. Let's check file data.txt. As you can see, data of all three students are stored here. So the program does all things it's supposed to do. Now let's closely analyze the codes in a program. This is just declaration of various variables coming to this part. I won't be explaining this part too much. A lot of details are involved here. It could be a topic for future videos. Let's think this as something that we have to write in the beginning to make file input output possible. Having said that, uh, let me mention few things briefly here. File is a structure. 
asterisk indicates a variable to be declared will be a pointer variable fe it's just a name of a variable you could have given any name here here you have to mention the name of the file you want to work with since we want to work with file data.txt we have written data.txt here you have to mention a file opening mode there are various file opening mode again here uh, I haven't discussed opening mode in detail if the file opening mode is double plus then we can both read and write data from and to a file here we are asking how many student data do we want to get and store them in a file here we are asking user to enter name ID and mark of a student and storing those values in variables name ID and mark now here we are sending these data to the file if we were to send data to console what would you have written this see how similar the name and syntax of these two commands are since in computer there is only one console in printf you don't have to write things like fp but since there are many files in a computer you have to mention fp otherwise it will not be clear to which file you want to send data to what does function rewind do here there is a concept of file pointer in file input output I will not be discussing about it in detail in this video again uh, look for my future video file pointer position changes as we store or read data from a file hence once we have stored data of all students file pointer will be at the end of the file reading data from or writing data to always takes from where the file pointer is currently at hence we need to take back the file pointer to the beginning of the file and that's why we have written rewind now what's this line of code doing it's get it's getting data from file and putting those data in variables name id and mark if you were to get data from a console what would you need to write this again look how similar the name and syntax of these two commands are as explained above only the major difference is writing fp and not writing fp note what we have discussed here is not complete data can be sent to and obtained from text and binary file here we have sent data to and obtained from only text file in case of text file again there are two methods to send data to and get data from a file one is formatted method and another is unformatted method using printf and fscanf are formatted method to send data to and get data from a file so how's today's video please leave your comments and suggestions below i would be posting video like this on various programming topics so please do consider subscribing to my channel also please don't forget to hit like button and share this video Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in the next one.